In this video, I'm going to show you how to disable a repo in Azure DevOps and prevent the users to access its content. This is a 30 Minutes Friday. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Coder Dave, where we talk about DevOps, especially with GitHub and Azure DevOps. And welcome to a new episode of the 3 Minutes series. As you probably know, in each episode, I will try and explain a concept, showcase a product or service, and yet try and teach you something and all in just three minutes. Short videos, big value, hopefully. Today, we talk about how to disable a repository in Azure DevOps. But let's start the clock and get into it. Before we see how to disable a repo, let's talk about why you would want to do that. For example, you may want to disable a repo because you found a secret stored in it, or perhaps a third-party tool detected that, 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 detected that your repo is out of compliance. In such cases, you may want to temporarily disable the repo while you work on a fix. When a repo is disabled, it will still show up in the list of all your repos. However, no one will be able to access or update its content. And if they try to do so, or if you try to do so uh, using the Azure Repo UI, you will see a message that clearly states that the repo is disabled. Let's see now how to disable a repo. And oh, it will be great if you can like this video so it can reach more viewers. Thank you. To disable a repository in a project, go to that project, then go to the project settings, scroll down until the repos section and click on repositories. In here, you can see you have the list of repositories. Click on the repo you want to disable. In my case, it is test repo. And in here, you have this new disable repository switch. And just click on it, and now your repo is disabled. And in fact, if I go back to the repos, you can see that, as I said before, it's still listed here. But if I click on it, I have this message saying that the repository has been disabled and to contact the project admin to re-enable it. As you can see, this is really, really straightforward. And of course, after all the mitigation steps have been taken, disabled repository can be re-enabled using the same settings. Final note, you can disable a repo only if you're admin or owner, or if you have the delete repository permissions. And we're done, let's stop the clock. Today, I've definitely stayed within the three minutes limits, yay. Anyway, let me know in the comment section below if you think this setting can be helpful and if you've ever been in any situation in which these could have been used. Finally, you can may check this video over here in which I go through how to secure properly an Azure DevOps organization. But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Coded Dave.